Hello students today we are going to discuss the introduction of reinforced concrete structures but before starting the subject we need to discuss the various is codes which are used in reinforced cement concrete structures <music> The first one is IS 456-2000 is used for RCC design. Second one is IS 875-1987 is used for determination of loads that is live load, dead load, dead load, snow load. Third one is IS 1893-2002 for earthquake loading. IS 10262 is used for concrete mix design. Okay. Now, question arises what is cement concrete? Now, question arises what is cement concrete? Cement concrete is an artificial stone which is made by using a mixture of cement, coarse aggregate, fine aggregate water and if admixtures if required. Admixtures are used to enhance the properties of concrete and for example they are used to improve the strength of concrete or they, are, they can also be used to increase the setting time of concrete and etc. For brittle material compressive strength is greater than shear strength and shear strength is greater than tensile strength. So, from this we get an idea that concrete is weak in tension. Now, question arises again why reinforced cement concrete is preferred over cement concrete. As we know that concrete is a brittle material. So, its tensile strength is very less as compared to its other strength. To remove this drawback, we have to provide a material which is strong in tension. Generally, steel bars are provided with concrete section to make the section strong in tension. This type of composite section is called reinforced cement concrete section. For example, a beam is subjected to point load. For example, a beam, a beam is subjected to point load. A beam is subjected to point load. Due to this point load, beam will deflect like this. You are seeing in diagram, beam, beam will deflect like this. Okay. Beam will deflect like this. And at the bottom fiber, stress will de develop and these stresses are called tensile stresses and top fiber, compressive stress will develop. Now, if we use here the cement concrete at the bottom fiber, then crack will develop. If we will use only cement concrete, then crack will develop. Therefore, to reduce or to remove the crack, we are using at bottom reinforcement that is steel. If we will use steel then at bottom fiber crack will not develop and its tensile strength will increase. So, to make the section strong in tension we need to provide steel bars in the tensile zone and the composite structure is known as reinforced cement concrete structures. Now again one more question arises why steel is provided as a reinforcing material. It is because the coefficient of thermal expansion of steel and concrete is approximately same. That is alpha of steel is approximately equal to alpha of concrete. This property of steel prevents breaking of bond between steel and concrete due to thermal or temperature changes. 
Now we will study next topic that is types of load. In this, there are six types of load we are using in our subject. First one is dead load. Dead load, in dead load we will study in IS 875 part 1. Second is live load in IS 875 part 2. Third is wind load in IS 875 part 3. Fourth is earthquake load IS 1893 2002. Fifth is no load IS 875 part 4. Other loads IS 875 part 5. Now we will study one by one. First one is dead load. Dead load is defined as the self weight of the structure. Dead load is calculated by using formula dead load equals to unit weight into volume and it is calculated in kilonewton per meter as UDL. Note unit weight of plain concrete is taken as 24 kilonewton per meter cube and unit weight of reinforced cement concrete is taken as 25 kilonewton per meter cube. Now second is live load. It is also known as external load, superimposed load or imposed load. Any load except dead load is called live load. Okay. Now third one is wind load. It is due to excessive wind velocity in high rise building or building constructed in coastal areas. Number of wind zone in India is 06. Now fourth one is earthquake loading. Wind load and earthquake load are considered as lateral forces or horizontal forces. Number of earthquake zone in India is 04. Now next one is snow load. Snow load is the downward force on a building roof by the weight accumulated snow and ice. The roof or the entire structure can fail if the snow load exceeds the weight the building was designed to shoulder. Next one is other loads. Other loads are creep, shrinkage, temperature, impact, soil and fluid pressure, erection load, foundation movement. Thank you students.